All right, so let me tell you what's going on. I launched at one of my favorite places on the planet, Delacro, Louisiana. When I left home, the wind was blowing five knots. When I got here, it was blowing 21. Not only that, when I got close to here, I videoed either a water spout or a tornado. I don't know if it was over land or water. So I had to kind of wait at the landing to take off. Afternoon trip anyway. I ran up to Lake Leary, planning to go fish redfish. Got up there and the water was terrible. I said, well, let me go toward the coast and see if I can find some speckled trout. Well, I was on my route and I ran across a bunch of birds. Three boats were fishing them. I kind of eased my way in there. And here you can see the footage. Man, this tide is absolutely screaming. Hard falling tide. Oh, trout came out the water. There he is, there he is. Inshore, keep a speckled trout in the month of July. You gotta love that. Gotta love that. I don't think he's a keeper. We're gonna check. Oh, my TKO under my Versamax bolt knocker. Oh man, he took it deep. Trout are jumping out of the water, chasing these shrimp. Oh, oh dad coming. There he is. Oh, what will you? Did you break me off? Yep, broke me off. Getting quick hits and quick spits. Got to figure out what else I can do. Let's try something subsurface. There he is. There he is. Oh. Hey, Whitey. I tell you what, I was not going to keep fish. But I didn't think I was going to get into a bunch of trout, so I think I am. And a white trout this size, I will definitely keep. <laughs> oh, there he is. I think that's a speck. I don't think that's a whitey. Yep, speckled trout, legal at that, no doubt. No doubt legal trout. Let's see. We will check. Yep, 13 inches. Swim in the well, buddy. I'm just straight retrieving this lemon head matrix shad on 3 8 ounce death grip jig head. I'd rather a quarter ounce, but this is what I got tied on. So, 3 8 it is. Oh, oh, there he is. Not the biggest fish. This one will not make the team. Here next to the boat. Oh, there we go. Top water. Oh, not big, but fun. Here comes company. Oh, that's a fish. Also another throwback. All right, we could probably sit here and catch a bunch of these small trout pretty much any way we want to, but I'm not a big fan of bird fishing. I like finding fish. So you figure if those trout are here, there's gotta be some other trout close by. Cause this is a falling tide coming through here, really not where these fish should be set up. Obviously they got a lot of bait here, but you figure this bayou here is where that bait is getting funneled into. So there's gotta be some fish in there. Let's go see if we can find a ledge. All right, so that is a beautiful ledge. Look at that. Look at that. Got to be a severe drop off 
Let me see how deep it is. Gonna turn my depth finder on. Let me look at my other depth finder. I'll let you know. It is 19.1 feet right here. I promise you it's only a couple feet right there. So we're gonna throw to this ledge and see if we can find some trout. It's gotta be some around here. That area we were fishing the birds is just right over there. You can still see them. Those boats are still there fishing them. I like catching a few fish under the birds, obviously, but after a while I get bored with it. It's just not challenging. I'd rather find fish. I truly would rather find fish than catch fish. And the thing with fishing new ledges, you never really know how the fish are holding on them. I might have to cast up onto it and drag it off the ledge. I might have to cast short and let it fall back to the ledge. And look, you can see it's pretty long. No telling where these fish might be set up. The tide is falling and it is fierce, fierce. All right, one more cast. I've made enough casts that I really feel like I should have gotten a bite if there was something here. I'm just gonna keep hunting. Who knows, maybe all the trout are just under those birds, feasting on those little brown shrimp. This current's rolling so hard. Even with this 3 8 ounce death grip, I can't get to the bottom. Let the hunt continue. Oh, there was a hit. There was a hit. All right, that's a good sign. This is a bayou just adjacent to the one that I just tried to fish. First cast got smoked. Now I missed him, but it's a good sign. All right, I might go fish that next bend down. Along the way, I'm gonna work and see if I can catch a bass or a red along this shoreline where this grass bed is. So far, no bites in our deep water bayous. I mean, look, it's not really the right time a year for this, but I just figured these fish would be here since there's so much bait in that lake, gotta be pushing through here on this hard falling tide. It's gotta be, but we can't catch them if they are here. Who knows, I might run back out to the birds. They are still diving, I still see them way, way in the distance. They're gonna quit soon, as soon as that sun gets lower. Might run back out there shortly. I've got a few fish in the live well. I'd like to get a couple more to keep them company. At least have a good sizable meal. If not, I'll let them go. I checked on them, they're still in good shape. Generally, trout don't do all that well, but this avid has a really, really good live well. Right now it's 6.30, sunset's around eight o'clock, so I can give myself until right about sunset and use the last 30 minutes of daylight to run back in. Now the redfish and bass action has not been that good this year in Delacroix. A lot of my fishing guide buddies are really kind of singing the blues about the fishing. The good news is that the trout fishing's been fantastic. It picked up in, I don't know, maybe March, and is really not abated. It's very good. I'm losing hope in this deep water bite, but there's a real pretty ledge right here, so I gotta hit it. I'm not gonna give it long, maybe five minutes. I can literally hear the birds. They're calling me. <laughs> Come fish us, Todd. We know where the trout are. All right, one more cast, then we're getting out of here. We'll go fish the birds again. All right, let's go do that. Make a few casts on those bird fish. See if I can get a couple more in the live well. And if we have time, we'll maybe fish for a couple reds on the way in. Can't waste too much daylight. Don't have enough of it left. <laughs> Ooh, first cast with the pop bar. All right. Mm, borderline. I think he I think he might make it, but we, we'll put him on the ruler and see. Oh, I hope he makes it because he lost an eyeball. And I don't think he's big enough, unfortunately. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he is. Twelve and a half. Feel better about keeping him since we're going to eat him. Now it won't matter. He doesn't have an eye. This one's full of trout meat. Goodness. So basically, you want to watch and see where the fish come up. You see where they come up, that's where you want to throw. It's almost pointless making a blind cast. Ooh, there we go. There we go. It's bird fishing. It's not challenging, but man, is it fun. Particularly with this little pop bar. I think he's also a keeper. Let's check you out here, dude. Oh yeah, 12 and a quarter. That's all he needs to be, 12. Watch for a fish to come up. There we go. Couldn't reach him. Ooh, that's out of range. Oh, there we go. Getting close to range. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
Oh, that's a good trout. That's a good trout. Oh, ho, ho, ho. almost lost him. Good fatty. Nice wide back on that fish. About 13 and a half, I'd say. Getting there with your buddies. Ho, ho, ho. They're all around me now. Wait and watch. Ooh. Oh, he ripped the rod out of my hands. He's not even, oh, he wasn't even big. I don't think he was a keeper. Come on, get closer. Look at this crab. Big female. Bad thing with the pop bar is it's so light. You can't throw it as far. It's like a she dog or even a matrix mullet. But the good thing is it kind of closely resembles these brown shrimp. I mean, I know it doesn't look like a brown shrimp, but up on the surface when it's popping like that, it's like a brown shrimp being chased by speckled trout. Guess I'll go chase this group. No doubt these fish can feel the pressure of the boat. No question about it. Wherever you go, they're gonna go somewhere else. Ooh. You feel keepable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice trout, nice trout. About 14 inches. Yep, 14 inches exactly. A bad for bird fish. Oh. You did not gonna make the team. Well, you're bigger than I thought you were, but I don't think you're legal. Don't think you're legal. I think you're about 11. Yep, 11 and a half. Oh, God. Oh. I think you're a keeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Filet mignon. Yeah, dude, you got it good. You are hooked. You can tell as far as 85 degrees how these fish are acting. It's ridiculous. And that's why you get so many hits and misses. They're just in such a frenzy. Their brains work differently when the water temps are this high. if he's gonna make it or not but boy he fell nice when he hit nope nope what happened to that dude that hit that bait couldn't have been you oh shoot Third hit. Man, you're not the biggest. What'd you do with your daddy? Mm. There he is. Oh, he got us an Olympian. He went airborne. Not even that big. But a keeper. Dude, you should be in the Olympics. Right on the ruler. 12 inches barely, but he's 12 inches. All right, it's 7.30. I got plenty of enough fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it. All right, I used my trolling motor to get away from those birds, so I didn't disturb those guys. There's three other boats fishing those birds. Everybody's very courteous. And as a result, everybody caught fish. It's just been such a great speckled trout year down here. I typically don't fish speckled trout a whole lot in the summertime. 
when you come across action like that with birds diving, dipping on brown shrimp, I mean, you just gotta fish them. My favorite fish to catch, no doubt about it, but in the summer, they're typically way outside and I just don't have a boat for that. It's not what I do, but I'll certainly take them whenever I can find them. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.